Hello viewer and welcome to the day where everything goes wrong for me. Well, for starters, um, I rode my bike here again. That's no big surprise. But when I got here and I set up everything, I forgot the SD card. So naturally, I rode all the way back to my house. Well, on the way there, a dog chased me. And not wanting to be bit, I pedaled so hard, I knocked the chain off the, I forgot it, right off the wheel. So after that went down and I didn't feel like fixing the chain, I walked home with my bike. It sucks because I lost a lot of good daylight because of it and I have to film in the shadows again. Which gives me, you know, this nice gray tone. But we'll forget about that. Today I'm going to talk about social interactions and why I suck at them. Bye truck. Recently I went to a party. Now it's one of those parties where you go and everyone wants to, you know, party. Now I'm not naturally a party person. So for the most part, I just stood there in the corner, live tweeting. Uh, I'm not really a party person. I can't go into a party and just start, you know, down in brewskis and just having a good old time. No, I, I feel really weird at parties like that. I'm a very introverted person and I don't do well around a lot of extroverted people, especially around 50, or 60 or 70 of them. I, I, I would like to be able to be a party person. I would like to, you know, hang out. I don't think anyone should have to drink to have a good time. Now, I'm not saying people who drink at parties are bad or anything. I'm just saying I don't need it to have fun. It's one thing when, you know, everyone lets you be you be, but when everyone wants you to drink, it gets kind of weird. I'm personally not a drinky kind of guy. I haven't really always been. I mean, I'm trying every now and then, but I don't, I don't need to drink. People say it's a social lubricant, but I don't, I don't see it that way. At the party I recently went to, someone tried, you know, loosen me up a little, and I tried it, you know, just, you know, make them happy, but it wasn't for me. I didn't really enjoy it. I think... Personally, I think all alcohol tastes nasty. I don't like it. Oh, I felt bad, you know, for the person who threw the party because pretty much all I did was stay in the corner and feel sorry for myself. I try to get out there, but it's just not me. And there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of introverts who don't like going to parties, but they end up going anyways. Just, you know, try it, you know, make somebody happy. I went and I tried. I tried to get out there. I tried to have fun, but mostly I just stood in three places for like three hours. I eventually just sat outside and sat on the hood of the car. The, uh, the moon looked nice. It was cold, but it gave me my alone time. I like to have my alone time. To all extroverts out there, you guys do you. I'm actually really proud that you guys can do what you do, because I can't. Like I said earlier, I, I can't walk into a room and be the life of the party. I walk in, I'm like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, that's just one of those things. Sometimes I prefer just to sit in my room and have my alone time. More often than not, I'm sitting and editing a video, which I'm going to be doing later, but whatever. If I'm not going to work, I'm just sitting in my room enjoying my own company because that's something I enjoy. And there are a lot of people who enjoy that. There's a lot of people who just enjoy, you know, being by themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with enjoying your own company and don't let anyone tell you that. Now, and, and I'm not saying that people who like to go out and have fun with others are wrong. Everyone should be able to enjoy what they enjoy doing. That's the main point I'm trying to drive across here. I enjoy being by myself and being among a small group of friends. And there are other people who enjoy going out into a big group of parties. They love being social butterflies. They love doing what they do and they don't care who cares. And that's really awesome. And I'm actually a little jealous of people who are like that. I'm jealous of people who can go out and just have the most amazing parties. They can go out and they can go club hopping if they want to, but I just can't. I like to say I am, but I'm not. I like to hype people up for parties and then I just kind of sit in the corner. Just I enjoy my small get-togethers. I enjoy, you know, just having small groups of friends, groups who can sit around and maybe drink if we want to, and there's no pressure at all. It's funny because right after that, we had a small get-together, you know, my group of friends, and we just played board games. That's what I like. I like board games and just small groups of friends. No shocker here, but I'm kind of a geek and a nerd and stuff like that. I like geeks and nerds. Now, there are people who go out and party who are also geeks and nerds, but sometimes, you know, it just doesn't click sometimes with me. I like to, you know, geeks and nerds who like small groups of geeks and nerds, you know? Getting a bunch of chips together, sitting down and playing some cards against humanity or something, you know? Something we can all have fun together in a small group. 
You can't play cards against humanity with 50 people. I mean, you can try, but it, it's just going to be too loud. You know, we can't sit in a gigantic circle and play cards against humanity. So first off, I'm going to give a shout out to all the introverts out there. Introverts, thank you for being introverts. You're lovely, and it's okay if you don't answer the door if you don't know who it is. It's okay if you want to go out into the kitchen and get something to eat, but you're too scared to go out there because your mom has a friend over. It's okay if you can't order your own meal like McDonald's because you're too scared of social interactions. It's okay if you go to the movie theaters and the guy who gives you the ticket says, Hey, enjoy the movie. And you say, you too. Because I've done that. He can't enjoy the movie because he's not going to watch it. Shout out to the extroverts. Extroverts. Thank you for being extroverts. Without extroverts, introverts would just be lonely and sad. It's okay they can go out and party and party and party and party. Because you like to party. It's okay that you can strike up a conversation with anybody. It's all right. People love to be talked to, even introverts. It's okay to strike up a conversation with introverts. We like to be talked to, just not as much. Keep it on the DL, you know? I was gonna say more, but I don't really know how extroverts work. <laughs> there are so many different kinds of people out there, and it's wonderful. I love how many different kinds of people out there, because it's just so interesting and colorful and just makes the world so much better. If there was just one kind of person, what kind of world would this be? A boring world. Like the color of the background back there, because I've overexposed it too much. The world has to be different. There has to be different kinds of people in order to create many different kinds of things. Without extroverts, there wouldn't be public speakers. There wouldn't be politicians. There weren't people who went out there and did things. Without introverts, there wouldn't be a lot of great things invented without introverts sitting in their rooms and quietly working whatever they were working on. Granted, some of them are procrastinators like me. I'm hoping that by doing stuff like this, I can urge myself to become more of an extrovert and hopefully help me talk to people more, like I'm talking to you right now. What's helping me with that is having my job as a cashier at the local grocery store. My job is literally talking to people and helping them. I stand at the register and I, hi, how are you? Find everything you're looking for today? That's good. All right, you have a nice day. And that's 90% of the job is talking to people, helping them and asking them how their day was. I love asking people how their day was. I, I am genuinely interested in how your day is doing. How is your day doing? Is it going well? If not, I hope it gets better. I'll always hope that your day gets better. I always will. I love when people have a good day and I love hearing about it. It's one of the things that helps doing a job like that with customer service, you know? You have to be genuinely interested. And there, are a lot, there aren't a lot of people who are genuinely interested and that's fine. Not saying that the rest of your coworkers just don't care. Some coworkers don't care, but not saying yours don't. Just some people are a little less interested in what other people have to say about their day. Some people just want, hi, how are you? Good? Okay. Have a good day. But I love hearing how their day was, and sometimes I don't do so well at asking. It goes back to the whole social interaction thing. I don't know how to strike up a very good conversation. I get really nervous when it comes to conversation. I can't walk up and be like, hey guys, how's it going? How's everybody doing? All right, man, yeah, my day is going well. I, I can't do that. The worst question someone can ask me is, hey man, how's it been with you? To which I respond, um, nothing. <laughs> But my skills are getting better. I'm getting better at talking to people. I'm getting better at asking them how they're doing. Generally just getting better at talking. Sometimes having a job will help you with that. Sometimes getting out there and being forced to talk will help you. Like right now, without my job, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I wouldn't have the courage to strike up a conversation with you or even get out here and do this every week. But I'm actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying talking to you. I wish I knew how your day was. I wish you could tell me right now how your day was. That'd be nice. But hopefully I become better at parties, I become a better party person, or at least just a little bit better at talking to people in general. Hold for the wind. Side note, my hair does something weird. Riding back and forth erased all the hair gel I put in my hair. Okay, hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time. I figured I should let you go. Especially since I'm sure you have things to do and I've wasted too much of your time talking to you as it is. So as always, it was nice talking to you. Bye. <laughs> Bullshit. I shouldn't have said that. Ooh, there are children here.